the Nautilus Theater, which hosts a lure, the Call of the Ocean. Now I know the name Call of the Ocean sounds like a cross between Jack London and Jacques Cousteau, but really it's more of a cross between Cirque du Soleil and a lower budget. Yes, it's another brightly colored animal costume show, but this time without ice, so I'm going to call it dry exploration. The ocean. The cosmos. Since the dawn of the sea itself, these men of seafaring backgrounds have told the tales of enchanted creatures that live in our oceans. A tale this fisherman is about to discover. Rob Schneider is a lore man. So the fisherman gets dragged underwater to the realm of fish people on unicycles. Eh, nice to see these guys got work after the holiday special. <laughs> the fisherman seems to have a thing for the fish... princess? But the other fish people steal his hat because they're fish dicks. But then there's some cool acrobatics and the fisherman and the girl seem to be hitting it off until the... evil queen monarch butterfly shows up, and she is less than thrilled with interspecies romance. Instead, more dancing and stuff. Sea dragons. Sure. Acrobats. Giant ceiling scarves. Girls emerging from clams. People swinging around. And now the evil's really starting? I guess from the music and the lighting? Ooh, people jumping through hoops. That's evil. Now you deal with me and all the powers of trampolines. Huh, what do you know? There is a show tonight on trampolines. And of course, Mr. Kite just has to reap all of the benefits. You may think you're so powerful. Well, uh, this is my ocean. And now the girl is the new queen, and all these other fish stop being evil, and everything's happy, and the curtain falls before we can see freaky fishermen on fish girl action. 